Mr. Beast went from getting less than 10 views per video to over 100 million views per video. This is the story of Mr. Beast. It's February 20, 2012, and a new channel on YouTube was created called Beast5ty. At first, this channel was not significant. The videos look like this. Recently, I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 2 because it's really fun. But then all of a sudden, he started gaining tons of subscribers. He basically started doing sub for sub, which is basically you subscribe to someone else's channel and they'll subscribe to your channel. But doing that gets you a lot of inactive subscribers and that's also against YouTube's rules. So at this point, he had over 1,000 subscribers, but every video got less than 10 views. He was forced to abandon the channel. Hey look, a new channel gets created called MrB6000 now. On the original date, it wasn't actually called MrB6000, but this channel is the Mr. Beast channel we know and love to this day. It just got his name changed a few times. By now, you probably already guessed it. At first, the videos were not super significant. Like, here's one of his first videos. That is pretty cool. <laughs> They, all, they also make noise when you come. It's nothing revolutionary, but Jimmy kept on posting until he posted this video. This would be one of his first viral videos. It's titled, How much money does PewDiePie make? And here's the video. If you take a look at this picture that's going to pop up on your screen right now, Nature got around 6 million views, and those 6 million views generated him around $10,000. Every million views you get on YouTube, get around 1,000 to 2,000, maybe even a little bit above 2,000. Every million views you get on YouTube, you're going to generate at least a thousand plus dollars in income pewdiepie is making well over ten thousand dollars a day and uh, if my numbers are correct he's making around thirteen fourteen thousand dollars a day which is in the hundred thousand dollars a month and millions upon millions of dollars a year now keep in mind this video is over 10 years old so it's super outdated but this video would still go on to get over a million views a little while later jimmy would hit six thousand subs and because his name was mr b6000 someone even made a song for him and if you have watched a decent amount of his videos you'll probably recognize the song if you watch my thank you for 6,000 subs video, you'll see that I played a song in it that someone actually sang for me. So here you go. But this is where the story takes a turn. Because Jimmy has just graduated school, but his mom was about to kick him out of the house. And Jimmy went on Joe Rogan's podcast to explain it. Check it out. Kind of the turning point was when I graduated from high school. And my whole life, I was like, I want to be making enough money by the time I graduate to do this full time. And I wasn't. I was still only making a couple hundred bucks a month. I graduated high school, and my mom was like, either move out or go to a community college. And I didn't have enough money to move out. But I really just, I hated school with a passion. She forced me to go to community college. That was the worst thing ever. Like, that, that made me hate life like borderline so i just can't stand having to just sit there and listen to this dumb stuff i would act like i was going to community college but i would just work on videos in my car and edit and stuff like that i had straight <laughs> zeros and so now the clock had started because oh, like no. once my mom found out i was screwed um were you aware of that like yeah, you, yeah. you're running a risk yeah exactly yeah. and so i would act like i was going to college that whole time but I, I wasn't and i didn't have enough money to move out and that was kind of when i was just like 15 hours a day all in i was like i'm f***ed if this doesn't work and i actually i had some videos pop off i couldn't tell you which ones but i had a month where i made 20 grand because i just had some videos just do really really well and then i yeah i came home and i was like yeah i haven't been going to college and i moved out the next day my mom almost had a heart attack because she she doesn't understand youtube or anything back then and she just was like she was like man this guy's gonna work at mcdonald's i wasted all this time <laughs> like i invested 18 years in this what i get but this is also where jimmy's channel begins to explode in popularity and he also changed the name from mr b6000 to just mr b so Jimmy decided to go all in on YouTube. Nothing was going to stop him. He made videos such as counting to 100,000, which took him almost two days to do, but it gave him the most success he had ever had. And even videos where he watched something for 10 hours straight, which also performed really well. And he even cut a table in half with only plastic knives. And eventually, Jimmy would get his first sponsorship, which would change everything. Because most people, whenever they get a sponsorship, they either buy some new equipment or maybe they even save some of the money. But Jimmy didn't do that. He straight up asked the people who were sponsoring him to double the money and then he said he'd walk outside and give it to a homeless person and that's exactly what he did check this out i was offered five grand for a video but this is when i was like 19 and this is so much money it's like mom look look and uh i i was like double it and i'll walk outside and i'll give it to a homeless person and they're like no you won't and that's like double it and i had like pacing around my neighborhood for three hours convincing this guy like on the phone just double the money i promise the video will go viral and I'll give it to homeless friends. I was like, $10,000 just looks better in a title. It'll get more views. I promise your, your app will do better. And I ended up getting $10,000 and then gave it away. And my mom's like, why don't you just give away $8,000? $9,000, why all 10,000? I was like, mom, it'll look better at the title. And it's just better, you know? And um, that's, 
basically that. Now, this video changed everything. It didn't get as much views as it's counting to 100,000 video, but it still performed really well, and it started something. So, before this, Jimmy's videos looked like this, but after this, all his videos started looking like this. And that's because some big companies saw his homeless video, and they started to sponsor all his other videos, which he got more money, and all the money he got, he kept giving it away. It started at 10,000, then it was 20,000, 30, 50,000, 100,000, and eventually it kept growing. If you want to take it, it's about $10,000. It's real. Now nah, I have about a million subscribers. Oh, no way! No, no way! No way! They don't need to 200! Don't need to 300 more! Yo! Do you have change for $200? Oh, well, I guess you just have to keep it. Are you serious? Yeah. Stop playing! No! Yeah. Last one of you to take your hand off this million dollar stack of cash keeps it. I just bought this house and I'm literally selling it for a dollar. I'm gonna give away this $300,000 mountain of money to people in need. Whoever leaves the circle last wins $500,000. This is literally half a million dollars in one dollar bills. Do you want to get inside of it? Because it's all yours. But that's not it because Jimmy even opened up his own charity. I just opened my very own charity. We adopted every dog at a dog shelter, bought everything in five stores and then gave it away, donated a million dollars worth of food to people in need, gave a homeless person a house, raised $20 million, planted 20 million trees. In general, I enjoy doing good things. Which is why I started my very own charity and 100% of the revenue from this channel will go towards funding it. But that's not it. Jimmy bought a $10 million warehouse to film videos. In here is around 50,000 square feet. There's no holes or anything, so we can just build sets, we can do whatever we want. So we soundproof the ceiling, on top of that, uh, you'll probably notice there's hundreds of sprinklers on the ceiling. Some videos we use 100 cameras, some videos we use 10, some we need to be able to zoom in 100x, some we need 100 vlog cameras for hide and seek. There's a lot of weird things in here. You have to basically set up like 40 cameras. Yeah, and on top of that, you can zoom in as well. So we have tons of shots of us just zooming into their mouths or whatever while they're eating food. All this for YouTube videos. And it all started out as a random guy with dreams. And now he spends millions of dollars per video. When I was 12, I basically decided I'd either become a YouTuber or trying. There wasn't a reality in my head where I didn't make it, just the time was the issue. I'd still be making videos at 70 years old even if nobody watched them. Luckily, it didn't get to that point, lol. I'm grateful I found what I loved at a young age. And that was the full story of Mr. Beast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed because this video took a long time to make. I'm thinking about doing more videos like this, but it depends how much support this video gets. So subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like the video and comment down below if you want me to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Subscribe. I'll see you later.